Yeah, you wear cool hats and stuff. <laughs> different all right um, they think i'm way more creative than i am oh sorry well we're, we're live i mean say whatever you want just know that we're live all right no yeah. you're about to introduce the show i'm talking about the conversation we were having we weren't live so we'll get back to it Ahmed. <laughs> okay cool we'll, we'll finish that combo at that we'll circle back around <laughs> um what's we up everybody welcome back to the definitive rankings of everything i don't episode 21 or something um we're here with Ahmed weinberg after a little bit of technical difficulties what's up Yo, sorry, sorry about that. We're I blame Steve. Stuff, so. I know, I can tell. Um, cool. Well, welcome. Um, you picked ghosts. Why'd you pick ghosts? I don't know. I'm just into like spooky stuff. You know, I like getting scared, and I like being um hearing ghost stories, yeah. and I like scary movies. What What's your favorite scary movie? Um, probably The Shining. Okay. Have you heard of it? Yeah, mine's uh, mine's shallow. How? <laughs> Wait, are they? Are, was he a ghost in that? No, I just it'd be really scary to think you're dating a hot girl and then she turns out to be ugly. <laughs> I should probably go. <laughs> <laughs> I also I grew up in a haunted house, which I should I should uh, reveal. That's true. Early on, how did you know it was? So have you seen a ghost before? You felt the presence of a ghost. I felt the presence of ghosts in my childhood bedroom because, I, I mean, I was raised very religious, so it was like I, I would see a, a trailer for, like, the Blair Witch Project and it would fuck up my entire life. Like, I wouldn't be able to sleep for, like, a month. No. Yeah. And then I'd tell my mom, like, I'm scared because I would, I would literally be, like, seeing shit. Like, 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 thinking things were coming in the window or, like, thinking things were in the closet. And uh, my mom would be like, yeah, it's probably, you know, just some demon or something, but uh like like we've got Qurans. Like we have like we have open Qurans in the house, so we're protected. Like you're you're fine. That's, That's so question. funny. I've never just heard a parent the way to chalk it up to a demon is kudos. I've, I've never heard a parent be like, no, 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 yeah, yeah. There are monsters in your closet, but don't yeah. worry. We got them. <laughs> we're covered. <laughs> Yeah, she's like, we have insurance for that. Don't worry. Yeah. <laughs> we'll be fine. But um, but I grew up and I I moved to the second floor like in high school or right before high school, and I I stopped being scared, so I just kind of thought I grew up. But then this winter, when I was home, I was walking around my neighborhood with my dad, and he was like, just casually was like, "Oh yeah, this weird thing happened in our house in the early '70s," and I I was like, "What?" And he was like, "Oh yeah, this these two Jewish women were living in our house." And uh, someone broke in through the window and, and murdered them. And I was like, what room was, what room? And he was like, oh, one of the back ones. And I was like, yeah, my childhood bedroom? He was like, yeah. <laughs> and and I, I was just like, what? Like, why didn't you tell me? Like, and he was just like, you were just such a pussy. And, and <laughs> like, we would have had, we would have had to move. Like, it would have just been a whole thing. Like, they literally were just like, Let's just let him get haunted, and uh, he'll figure it he'll, out. Like, he'll figure it out. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, so it'd be too much of a financial burden for us to get rid of your demon. I mean, we had just we had just moved in, and, <laughs> and we're still unpacking, and now we got a ghost, and yeah. So they eventually moved me out of there, but it was uh, also like putting Qurans around for Jewish ghosts. Like, I don't think that works. Yeah. <laughs> That's how I was thinking that the whole time. It's not going to stop. <laughs> just two angry Jewish women. They were like, oh, fuck. If no. the ghosts will want to occupy more of your room slowly <laughs> over time. <laughs> yeah, the ghost came in with bulldozers one day. It was pretty crazy. Oh. Um, so, yeah, I guess I have real, but I never saw it like I, in my, I don't remember like any like seeing a ghost or an apparition, but. You, you yeah, felt you felt it. I felt the energy, yeah. It's just it's just energy. You can feel when someone died somewhere, you know. Yeah, yeah. You the, can, the, the store oh, was sorry. very much like that. Right, right. It's it's just the energy. Story. Yeah, the energy of past beings for sure. Yeah. Did yeah, you guys ever walk around in the, in the dark at the store? I always, I always say, "Hey, I'm I'm just walking around. <laughs> <laughs> I don't mean anything. I don't want to." I, I say that. I w yeah. I once went into the OR like way before. Like, 
start opening time to set up the room and then the vibe of the whole OR was, oh, I got to get out of here. Whatever's in here does not want me in here. Yeah. Yeah. Wild. I mm-hmm. took a nap in the main room once and uh, I just remember waking up like several times throughout it just like shivering. <laughs> it was like the hottest day of the year. Whoa. Yeah. So I guess you can say we're all kind of experts in ghosts. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you guys do like spend a lot of time in a haunted building. That's yeah. that's pretty rare. Yeah. yeah. And for all of you to say you've experienced something, although Matt never really said he. Matt, do you, have you have you ever experienced anything? No, but you, it's definitely that feeling of like every every time I walk around in dark areas there, I always I always feel like there's a presence there for sure. You know what it is? The dark area there's are extra dark. Yeah. Not even like in like a way that they feel dark. Like it looks way darker than normal darkness. Mm-hmm. There's like an abyss aspect to it. Yeah. yeah. It's creepy for sure. Yeah, it's an interesting place. <laughs> yeah. Um, but uh, yeah, I guess. Do, do any of the store ghosts make your list or no? <laughs> no. Honestly, I had number 10. Oh, really? Oh, wow. It was number 11. They got beat out. All right. Um, I, I should have done that. Ahmed, usually we like to just uh, get your number one and go from there, and then we'll kind of move down the list. Um, so what would you, you have at number one? Number one, well, I didn't really put them in an order per se, but um, I had the top as Bruce Willis. Okay. Mm-hmm. Um, had- not, not from The Sixth Sense, just, to, just <laughs> I, think he, I think he's dead. <laughs> <laughs> um, um, what about you guys? I have Bruce Willis on my list. Yeah, I have him a little lower. I have him at number eight. Me too. I have him at eight. Um, oh, wow. I mean, number one, there's a common theme here that we have every week, and I'm not going to let anybody down. I had number one, Jesus. Is Jesus a ghost? Uh, yeah. Was he he died ghost? and came back, bro. That's It's ghost-like tendencies. It's very to, ghost-like. No, he died and came back to life. He didn't die and come back as a ghost. I know, and then he floated around for like 30 days or something. It's, look, you, you do have to call it a ghost, but it's kind of ghostly. <laughs> Jesus is not a ghost. No, I don't have Jesus anywhere on my list. There, because there, it, there is a ghost in the Trinity. Uh, a very yeah, separate, from, from, okay, so separate I, from okay. Jesus. I had number two, the Holy Spirit. <laughs> okay. The Holy Ghost did make my list. My number one was the Pac Man ghosts. Ooh, I got that. I, have I do too. Seven. I got them at six. Who's, I got your, who's as, your number? My I got number those one is Casper. That's my number two. Okay. If we're not counting Jesus and the Holy Spirit, I had Casper at three. <laughs> I have the Holy Spirit, but just not. I don't think he's this high. I think Casper. When you when Muhammad said ghost, the first thing I thought it was Casper. Mm-hmm. Me too. And he's friendly. What's a better ghost than a friendly ghost? Although it's like if your name is the friendly something, you're probably <laughs> hiding that you're not. It's like saying like I'm not. I'm not racist, but. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> But did like, he, was that his name, or that's just what people called him because he was so friendly? Um, I think his last name was the Friendly Ghost. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, he comes from a long line of the Friendly Ghosts. Well, Casper was a person, right? <laughs> he so he a, had yeah, that yeah. last name. Oh, I think he was a little boy. People at one point, though. Mm-hmm. Not. Why was he friendly? Because he was like a kid. He was young. He didn't know how to be. Well, his uncles were uh, what like. Those were his uncles, right? They were like Fatso and the the other one, the skinny one, and I've never actually watched the movie. I just oh, know right. of the friendly oh. ghost. Yeah, yeah, his he's names. looking right how, now. How did he die? Do they ever go into that? I think so. I don't remember. I don't. I haven't seen the movie since I was a kid. But a really a really friendly guy killed him. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Was he brutally murdered? Like, was that part of the? <laughs> it seems like there might not have been that much backstory to Casper here. I remember there being like, um... I don't remember. He turns into a boy at the end of the movie, I think. Oh, he comes back to life, or maybe not. I don't remember. His name is Casper McFadden. Hmm. <laughs> He's Irish? Apparently. Yeah. <laughs> is Casper an Irish name? I was going to say no, but when you throw the McFadden on it, like immediately it sounds very, very Irish. Yeah. Like Casper? Yeah. It's like an old Irish name. They don't even use it anymore. Did um, you say how he died? Uh, do, do, do. Probably like pneumonia or some lame shit. Honestly, yeah, it was pneumonia. Oh, was it? Shut yeah, up. 12-year-old boy who died of pneumonia. 
That's so funny. Whoa. To that. And the other ghosts, their names were Stretch, Stinky, and Fatso. Those were his uncles. They were the ghostly trio. Yeah, there's uncles. Remember a scene where they were eating food and it would just fall right through yep. them? Because they couldn't digest it. What a life. Yeah. But they were kind the of they were assholes. Casper was his name when he was alive. So that is that true for Stretch and Stinky as well? <laughs> Fatso. <laughs> Stinky McFadden. My Uncle Fatso McFadden. Yeah. <laughs> That's why Casper was so friendly. He is the only... All, all his relatives were named like piece of shit and like <laughs> ugly. <laughs> I wonder how they all died too. They all had to die around the same time. Adzo says yeah. diabetes. Oh, shut up. No, I'm joking. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like that's racist. <laughs> um, I had pneumonia once. Did you survive? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, because of uh, I had it from COVID because I got the early early I got the Wuhan strain. Uh, and uh OG it, dead stock. You got the you got the pre you got the pre release COVID. <laughs> I, <got> the... <laughs> I did. I had to wait in line for like three hours, <laughs> but it was it was worth it, dude. I think I'm like I, I think I'm like immune though. I think I got the worst COVID, and now I'm just like you haven't gotten it again. I just no. Nah. And I've been like around people who have it, and I'm mm-hmm. yeah. You, the, you yeah. got it before the you got it before the lockdowns, right? I lost one week before lockdown of just normal life that all like the last week of human existence. Yeah. I, I was in bed. I'll be honest. Wasn't that great? The, um, yeah, it was kind of, it was kind of weird. The first plans yeah. I had to cancel for COVID were, was me, Hassan, Ahmed and Lara's Joshua tree trip where we were going to take mushrooms and wear diapers. Yeah. Oh yeah. Do you remember that? <laughs> Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. That was, that was the first thing to go. It was gonna be at like the end of March or something, I think. Yeah, it was St. Patrick's Day or something. I don't remember, but yeah, I think I got a refund on the Airbnb, so tight. Yeah. All good. <laughs> yeah. I mean, three of us, three of us have Casper in our top three. I'm pretty sure that's gonna be yeah number one here. I mean, how do you feel about Casper? I mean. Sure, he's friendly and he's famous, but is he the best ghost? I mean, the it, it doesn't a ghost need to scare you? Doesn't a ghost like if the top top ghost is friendly? That's like saying like the top dictator is like you know Bill Clinton or something. You're like, let's make but, it a ghosts do have like kind of a more like friendly connotation to them though, because like when I think of those other things, I think of like demons and spirits. Yeah, I have most of my ghosts. You just like a ghost for Halloween. You just put a bed sheet on. Most of my ghosts on my list are pretty positive. Okay. Most? I've, I have, yeah, I have a lot of positive ghosts. Right. I have a few negative ones, but I have a lot of positive ones. Yeah. Um, I mean, I wouldn't consider, and I wouldn't consider, I mean, I guess they're villains, but the Pac-Man ghosts aren't necessarily, like, scary like that. They're trying to kill you. They chase you. Yeah. yeah they're like, they're chill. That's the worst ghost. You can get them back. Yeah, you, you can get them back. and what? They're 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 bright colors and they're they're for children. Do you know? Do you remember their names? No. Inky, Inky, Pinky, Pinky, Stinky, and Poe or something. Or that's the Teletubbies. <laughs> that's the Teletubbies. <laughs> the last one had a weird. The red one has a weird name. Like mm. Maybe. Um. Inky, Blinky, Pinky, and Clyde. 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 Uh, all right. So yeah, I mean, do we put Casper one for now and just see, I, and then see where we go from there. Yeah. Okay. Um. The friendly ghost. Let me hit you with another one. Yes. What do you have next? In the Shining, the uh, the one shot where the bear is giving a blowjob to the guy in the tux. Those yeah, that's that's like some top ghost shit. That's like one of the most memorable ghost moments. Just how out of left field it is, how how scary it is when the bear looks up at the camera. Mm. It's just that's just brilliant. All of it. All of it. I, I do have shining blowjob ghosts on my list. Oh great. <laughs> I thought about it, I didn't write it down because it's just it's just like, like a split second, but it is true, it is like iconic. It's incredibly memorable. And it's in a 30 seconds to Mars music video, I think. It's just, <laughs> there, there's, there's a ton of ghosts in The Shining, obviously, like the twins and 
the girl in the bathtub. I mean, everyone in the photo at the end is a ghost, but that for some reason, the blowjob ghost is just, uh, oh, it's a slice. It's a slice of heaven. Is so the, good. Is the blowjob ghost more iconic than the twins? Not so. more iconic. No. No. More memorable. I don't know. Those twins are freaky, dude. Yeah, those twins are, they come up all over pop culture, too. Yeah, those twins are everywhere. It's People still dress up costume. like them for Halloween. Yeah. yeah. Like, I knew about the twins from The Simpsons, Treehouse of Horror, before I did from The Shining. Huh. Well, so is the best of something means that it's the most iconic, or... Not necessarily. But, but it that, definitely plays a part. Yeah. I, the, uh, that, that, iconicness that, definitely plays a part. That's like my number one is what's most iconic, but... Mm-hmm. I, yeah, I mean the twins would be more iconic for sure. Um, are they number two? The twins. I have King Boo. Okay, you fucking nerd. Who was that? Oh, from, from Mario. Smash Brothers. Mario. Oh, yeah. Uh, no. Would you say Step Brothers? I said Smash Brothers. Oh. So uh, technically. King Boo at number two. Number three. Oh. I had I had Pac Man Ghost number one. Oh yeah, okay. Damn. I, I wrote yeah, it down, but I didn't have him on my list. Uh we missed a big one. Yeah, my number two is Slimer. Slimer. Yeah. Oh, from Ghostbusters. Yeah. Yeah. He's like a he's like a funny ghost. <laughs> um I don't know. I thought I thought he was like I thought he would challenge for number one, maybe, but yeah, I had Slimer next to my list too. I couldn't put him over Casper or yeah. Jesus or the Holy Spirit, but <laughs> uh, Slimer's good. Slimer deserved a spinoff. I thought. Do you think Slimer is more iconic than the Shining Twins? No, I don't think so. Really? He has no. like a whole personality. Yeah, no, yeah but he's but. Uh, uh, I think Ghostbusters is way more iconic than the Shining. The sh- no, <laughs> that's not true at all. No, that's not true at all. Maybe it's more iconic, but it was a bigger movie. Yeah. No, that's also not true at all. I think you're wrong, bro. There's two of them. There's like a ton of spinoffs. Like Slimer's yeah, pretty the, big, but Shining is like you, and like. Do you think across the board one of the greatest horror movies of all time? Like, but do you think more I think The Shining is way more iconic than the Ghostbusters? Yeah, I think a lot of people would say Ghostbusters is one of the greatest movies just in general all time. I would very much disagree. Do you think more people have seen The Shining or Ghostbusters? The Shining. Really? The Shining. Also. Yeah. Also, any, 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 any. I'm disrespecting Ghostbusters. Also, so many people I know who've watched Ghostbusters later in life have all like have all thought it was overrated. I think Ghostbusters is very much of its time. Yeah, I agree with that. I think The Shining is just the perfect film that like anyone sees it at any point in their life and just mm-hmm. it just loves it. I mean, I think I think Ghostbusters is mad overrated. Yeah, but but not as a movie. Slimer. Do you think Slimer's overrated? No, I'm just saying Slimer is not as iconic as the twins. Huh. How many yeah. references in media do you see to the twins all the time? And on top of that, how many people dress up like Slimer as Halloween? Well, it's easier versus to, the twins. It's easier to dress up like a person than a, a green ball of goop. Yeah, the cartoon. I just, <laughs> yeah. I just think. I just think. I just think it's like. It's not even. I think it's not even close between the two. I think the twins are far more iconic than Slimer. All right. Yeah, I think whoever has more T-shirts in Hot Topic depicting them, and I would say the <laughs> twins probably have maybe two. I bet Slimer's got a Hot Topic T-shirt though. He's got a couple. <laughs> maybe. Uh, I mean, I I trust you guys. I like. I, I'm not. I don't, I'm not in love with Slimer or anything, but I did have a crush on him in high school. I think, uh, yeah, um, the twins, dude, shiny twins, shiny twins at two. Mm-hmm. Also, oh yeah, yeah. I think the shiny twins should be two. That's what I think. All right. It's for shits and giggles, Ghostbusters made four times as much at the box office than the Shining did. And they came out four years apart. I could see that being true, but I think the lifelong, like, the the viewership probably of The Shining, you know, I don't know, though. 
So, I mean, the, the most iconic part of Ghostbusters is the Stay Puft Marshmallow Man, more so than Slimer. I don't know about that. Oh, no, bro. <laughs> when I think of Ghostbusters, I think of Slimer. For sure. I don't, I don't think... Really? I mean, the Stay Puft Marshmallow Man, like, after I think of Slimer, I think of him, but... Oh, I, I, I think of the Marshmallow Man first. Uh, yeah, I mean, we could put Shiny Twins, too. I'm okay with it. Um, then let's talk Slimer. My number three also was Beetlejuice. Beetlejuice is a ghost, huh? Yeah, I, I, I had to research it because I wasn't sure, but it, it does say that he is a ghost. I looked it up and saw he was like a demon. Is he a ghost? I read that he's a bio-exorcist that's classified as a ghost. But I also uh, was like, I'm not 100% sure. I feel like the fact that we don't know if he's a ghost or not kind of knocks him down on the list. Sure. I mean, if he was a straight ghost, he might be number one. He's like, Beetlejuice is pretty iconic culturally. For Casper? He's had more movies. Casper's only had one movie. Casper's had two. I mean, not two good ones. <laughs> that's not what he said. <laughs> well, there's like a direct-to-video sequel or whatever. No, it came out in theaters, I think. Casper 2? Yeah, well, I'm pretty sure. No way, or maybe bro. I was just seven no and have way. a very fond memory of it. That's one of those direct-to-video bullshit. They get different actors for the, the voice people because they don't want to do it again. Oh, no, you're on. Yeah, Casper meets Wendy. <laughs> yeah. 17% of Rotten Tomatoes. <laughs> Starring Hillary Duff. Was she in the first one? No. <laughs> there was a Wendy. All right. Um... So, I mean, do we want to just not include Beetlejuice at all? Do we think he's not a ghost? I think it's up for debate. Yeah. I feel like the fact that it's up for debate means, like, I'm down to discuss him, but not at three. If we, yeah. can't if we can't decide that if he's a ghost or not. Sure. I think, uh, I, think Sli that, I think this is a good spot to talk about Slimer, for sure. Slimer here. Uh, um, what do you guys think of Bloody Mary? I had her at four. Bloody Mary at ten. She Bloody Mary doesn't have, like... The the benefit of all the other ones on my list where they have like they were they were built by like Bloody Mary was just built out of legend. Right. She's not she's not like a character. I don't you don't know anyone who's ever seen her. I don't know the legend of her. Was was there a movie? So I don't think so. It was like a thing that you learn when you're like a little kid. The story, the story that I know is she was so beautiful and she was um, obsessed with looking at herself in the mirror. And then something happened where she got disfigured and it fucked mm -hmm. her up and she like went into the mirror. And now she oh, so her. when you say Bloody Mary to the mirror, you see her? Yeah, if you see yeah, her if you three, say it three times, times. In the bat, in, into a mirror, you'll she, see her. She, she comes the lights and gets off. you, doesn't she? Yeah, some wild shit. Have you guys ever done it? Yeah, Hell a thousand no. times. Oh, dude, it's fucking scary. <laughs> it was. I, did it, I did it once, and I was like, never again. It's just too, the energy, the energy is wild when you do it. Yeah, don't invite that shit into your life. Yeah. If you're a little kid, you don't know anything. Um, Bl Bloody Mary is also like a phrase, right? Where it's like, she, she was screaming Bloody Mary. When yeah. was screaming a lot or whatever. Also a drink. I mean, that's pretty iconic. Yeah, of course, a drink. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I kind of like Bloody Mary at three, to be honest. I mean, it's something that everyone knows. It's 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 like it's like the a lot of ghosts are urban legends, and that's the most famous urban legend. It's like across yeah. everything. Yeah, she it's not region. It's just not region specific. It is a movie. Yeah, but like a newer one, like a good one. I think so. Someone actually tried. I feel like it came out a couple years ago. Oh, damn. What about Ghost of Christmas Future? Yeah, I have the Christmas ghosts. I didn't know how to separate them though. I had I wrote down the Christmas ghosts as well. I think that's just, that could be talked about here. You can group them all in together. Okay. I think so. I think the I think the Christmas Carol ghosts can be grouped together. Let me ask you this: If you had to pick one, Ahmed, you say future. Asan, yeah, you say? I think. Sorry, go ahead. Oh, future is the definitely the scariest. Uh, he yeah. doesn't say shit. He's he's the most ghostly of the ghosts. Okay. I would have said past, but I don't remember the story at all. I, I just I I can't Christmas picture Christmas. what pa I can't picture what past and present looks like, but I can picture a future because future had the Grim Reaper look to him. Oh right. Ooh, is the yeah, Grim I mean, Reaper I a ghost? I don't think so. No. No. 
I think it's just like the ghost of Christmas past shows him like sadness of his childhood, but the Christmas future shows him like he basically killed uh, Tiny Tim, you know, like (laughs) he he fucked up and nobody went to his funeral and everyone doesn't care. Mm -hmm. Well, Christmas futures too is cool because you could change that shit. Yeah, it doesn't have to be the future. There's like hope. Have you you have have, you can get your shit together? Someone did the math converting how much Tiny Tim's dad makes to yeah. current day, and it's more than minimum wage now. <laughs> <laughs> no. That's so funny. Yeah. Like, even with, like, ad- adjusted for inflation and everything? Adjusted yep. for inflation and everything. Yeah, yeah. They make more than minimum <laughs> we are We are a country of Tiny Tim's. <laughs> Not even. Ty- we aspire yeah. to be Tiny <laughs> Tim's. Yeah. We could all yeah. be so lucky. Yeah, we aspire for destitution. That's what we aspire to. Oh, that's so funny. That's so dark. Um, all right, so we, we kind of have three that we can put here. We can go Slimer, we can go the Christmas Ghost, we can go Bloody Mary. I think for the Christmas three. Ghost. Yeah? At number three? Yeah. I feel like Slimer. Yeah, I'm between Slimer and the Christmas Ghosts. Uh, I mean, how do you feel? I kind of like the Christmas Ghosts. I think they have more legend to them. I think so, and I like the story is so much more. Uh, I don't know. It's it's very it's very culturally important, you know. Yeah. Ghostbusters is a you know pop culture, but Christmas story is is just culture. Or yeah, something. for sure. A little different. I like that. We could go that. We'll go 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 yeah. Christmas at at three. Mm-hmm. Um. Mm-hmm. So that's our, our top three for now. Um. Do you think Ghost of Christmas over the Shining Twins, maybe? Oh. Probably. Oh, three against two. Here's Look, he's just going to take all that shit he said about cultural importance and get the fuck out of here for his favorite movie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, think- and take out the fact that it's your favorite movie. Adam. Like, you have to come at it, like, try to come at it neutrally between the two. I will have to admit that I don't think most people think of the girls as ghosts immediately. The same way that you think of the Christmas ghosts are just ghosts, and that's, like, the whole thing. But, yeah, I mean, I guess you're right. I guess they're number two. Yeah, I kind of... I think they're number two as well. Yeah, I think they should be moved up. I hate it. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. Um, this is me. All right, then let's talk Ghost of Christmas and Casper then. I think Casper over the Ghost of Christmas. I did initially. I don't know though. Now I'm kind. Now I'm kind of like maybe the Ghosts of Christmas are the number one. Are the are the ghosts? Yeah, right. I think so too. And I know we're kind yes. of we're kind of still in season, so maybe it's a little recency bias or something. But it does feel like they they're like the most impactful ghosts in culture. Hmm. Right? Yeah. Also, there's no duck version of Casper. I will say that. <laughs> there's no... <laughs> <We wanna... laughs> Think about that. That's true. Yeah, what do we do here? Ugh, it's tough. I mean, Casper is... Casper is just newer, you know? it's It doesn't have the same longevity of Mm-hmm. Of, the, of the Dickens classic, you know, yeah. we're talking yeah. Charles. We're talking Charles Dickens here. Yeah, I mean, then we could get into Shakespeare and Macbeth. I I think that like there are older ghosts, but that the ghosts of of Christmas past and future and present are probably the most relevant to our society for sure. For sure, because Cause people you- people don't read Shakespeare the same way, and there mm-hmm. there haven't been like the same iconic films. Yeah, and, and we've we've had we've like all Muppet seen adaptations. Some... We've had mm. um, the fucking Looney Tunes or whatever you said. And as far as most watched thing, because we brought it up earlier between Ghost, I think I feel like most people have seen some adaptation of A Christmas Carol, or they know the story. Yeah. Even if you haven't seen it, you know the story, mm-hmm. right? Like it's so ingrained in culture that. Well, you like... know, yeah, you know the ghost, you know Scrooge, you know Tiny Tim. Yeah, That's every... you know, you know the three. Everyone knows Scrooge for sure. Well, mm-hmm. but we are talking about a worldwide probably mm-hmm. you know it's since it's christmas specific it probably does it probably is more popular in, in christian but i will say this because we we talked about this last week with christmas about 
even when my mom was growing up in Bangladesh, they still got cultural Christmas. They still got Christmas things. Uh-huh. There were still there were still Christmas media they, it, it, you know, consumed on some level. So I mean, I just think across the world, way more people have watched a, some version of the Christmas Carol over Casper. For I'm sure. just wondering if if Muslims have maybe heard about Casper more likely than than the Christmas Carol, you know, or people from other. Because because pop culture does carry through into like worldwide culture, whereas maybe a uh... yeah, but I think Christmas Carol is both, right? It's like culture and pop culture. Yeah. 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 I'll give it. I'll give it up. I just think like some kid probably has more likely to have like a little Casper toy than to know about. The Christmas, Christmas Carol. Carol. Or like Slimer, who's getting very disrespected right now. Yeah, I don't like Slimer. <laughs> <laughs> I just yeah. don't care. Me and Ahmed have this have have uh, put up a front against Slimer, a united <laughs> front against Slimer. Yeah, you guys have hated Ghostbusters ever since they made that woman movie. Yeah. <laughs> um, I mean, so how are we feeling? I, I kind of... Christmas Carol one. I think Ghost of Christmas over Casper. Yeah. Yeah. All right. All right. Way to work up the list, damn. That doesn't have it very Woo! often. That was crazy. That was a poop-like run. Yeah, that was... for real. <laughs> a little earlier than poop, but... Um, all right, then let's... I think I think here to round out the top five, I think we go maybe Bloody Mary and, and Slimer. Um, unless we have something else. Yeah. I know we, we still have Pac-Man Ghost to talk about for sure. We still have Bruce Willis. Um, I mean, I, I at my number five, I had Patrick Swayze. I had Patrick Swayze at five two. Fuck with me, Matt. Iconic ghost. Yeah. Like, and he's actually dead. I had Swayze later on in the list. Okay. Swayze is from Ghost. Yeah. Yeah. Whatever his character's I, name is, I don't know. I've never seen Ghost, but I. I haven't either. I've never seen that. I know he's. I know he's a ghost. But that's how iconic it is. Is you know he's a ghost in the movie, right? Yeah. All I know is there's a pottery wheel and there's a ghost. Yep. Yeah. Um, but I mean, I think in terms of iconicness, we gotta go Bloody Mary. At four? Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, I like that. I, I, yeah, I like that she represents, like, not having, not being built from a. What? Well, yeah. You know, the old school legend ghost. Yeah. Mm. There's, the, you know, something we said about the Shining twins. I felt like we needed to represent horror movies in some way. And then, like, now Bloody Mary, we got to represent urban legends. I mean, that's most of ghosts. Yeah. Yeah. Is, is Bloody Mary better than the Shining twins? Who? I think so. I'm just not personally as versed in Bloody Mary. Mm-hmm. I. I knew about Candyman a lot more than Bloody Mary Candyman. growing up. Yeah, that's like so. black people's ghost, right? Yeah, it's it's it's, it's the diversity Bloody Mary. <laughs> <laughs> isn't that it though? Isn't it, isn't Candyman much more like urban culture, whatever you want to call it? I mean, yeah, it was a black horror movie, so. We can't, isn't it, like, isn't it the same thing you say Candyman three times in the yeah, mirror? It's a, yeah, it's the same. Yeah, yeah. it's just yeah, yeah. I mean a movie I've been called Candyman. Not, not so they, appro- saying they appropriated white culture. Yes, <laughs> first time in history. Wow. Yeah. No, you stole from Elvis. So, um... <laughs> <laughs> you know, it was like a white guy that made Candyman too, the original one. I believe it. Wait, who made the original? Yeah. yeah. Oh. That's that makes sense. But I don't know. I think I would put I would put Bloody Mary over the Shining Twins. Yeah, I would too. I wouldn't, but I I get it. Morgan. Uh, yes, Bloody Mary. All right, that's three v one. Shine twins moving down the list here. Yeah. <laughs> it hurts. This is like, um, <laughs> what's that Notre Dame quarterback? I'm gonna go do the Bloody Mary thing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like Candyman, made by Bernard Rose, a Jewish guy from London. Nice. There you go. Huh. He tapped into something. Was that was the movie the first instance of Candyman, or is that an urban legend? No, it's the first instance of it. He just created. Interesting. It. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. Just out of nowhere. Candyman. 
What's scarier, Candyman or Bloody Mary? Yeah. <laughs> it sounds like he'd be awesome. Candyman. Yeah. Yeah. Candyman sounds like he rolls down your neighborhood with a cart. Yeah. Yeah. He gives you diabetes. <laughs> yeah. Or he's like a pimp and he drives like a Cadillac. Either way, that guy's pretty cool. Yeah. I mean, he does sound yeah. really cool, yeah. though, for sure. He is pretty cool. Um. All right. There's there's our four. Mm-hmm. Um. Yeah. What do we want to go top five? What's our last top five here? I so want Swayze, Pac Man Ghost, Pac Man Ghost, Slimer. Oh man, Slimer doesn't make the top ten. I, well, he'll make. I the think Slimer's gonna make the top ten. No, nah, I meant top five. I think he should. I, think, I, think I he mean, should be five. Over Pac Man Ghost. Yeah. yeah, for sure. Just personally, yeah. Slimer's that dude. He's like he's iconic. He he is iconic. He is iconic. I'll give you that. Is he more iconic than Pac Man Ghost? Yes, because Pac-Man is the icon of the game. The ghosts are just the guys Pac-Man's fighting. Slimer is Ghostbusters. Well, that's not. I mean, you could, you could, you could. Yeah, I mean, Bill Murray. I don't know. But I was gonna say Bill Murray is Ghostbusters. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. But when you think of Ghostbusters, I don't think of Bill Murray first. I think of Slimer, because I'm thinking it through a child's lens, eyes or uh, I lenses. You know when what I mean? think of Ghostbusters, I do picture Slimer. That is fair. I picture the Ghostbusters and Slimer. I think I think Slimer is above the Pac-Man ghosts because the Pac-Man ghosts are, you know, there there's ghosts in that game, but you easily forget. Yeah, they're mm-hmm. just they're you kind of like oh yeah, there's ghosts, but when you think of Ghostbusters, you think of ghosts and you think of Slimer. Yeah, and like the Pac-Man ghosts, they're the third part of Pac-Man that I think about because it goes Pac-Man, Mrs. Pac-Man, then the ghost. Really, you put Mrs. Pac-Man above the ghosts? Oh, yeah, she wasn't even the, in the OG game, bro. Exactly, yeah, get she out of here. the ghost. No, no way. It definitely goes Pac-Man, then the ghost. Yeah. I don't know. I think Mrs. Pac-Man. Pac-Man, then Inky, I'm, then Blinky, then Clyde, then... I, yeah, I'm... I'm, do you think I'm Sonic, do, When you think of Sonic, do you think of Sonic and Tails, or you think of Sonic, then Dr. Robotnik? Sonic and Dr. Robotnik. You're lying. It's Sonic and Tails. I, I, didn't Sonic play, and, I never but, played with Tails, though. Yeah, but you... Oh, wow. All right, never mind. You guys play uh, video games weird. Also, also, Mrs. Pac-Man and Pac-Man <laughs> never came together, did they? They were all separate games. Yeah. Yeah, so no, yeah. they were like, you yeah, were but you knew Mrs. who she Pac-Man. was. Huh? You were just playing Mrs. Pac-Man the whole time. <laughs> you couldn't afford um, Pac-Man. I do think, I do think, I do think Slimer here at five is fine. All right. I like that. I love that they did a female reboot of Pac-Man. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Way <laughs> ahead of its time. Way ahead of Way ahead of time. Very yeah. All they did was put a bow on Pac-Man, right? Yeah. Yeah. The same game. Yeah. It's like a, some eyeliner. They're like, here you go. Brand new game. Same ghost, too, yeah. right? Yeah. I think they were just girl ghosts. Mrs. Pinky, Mrs. Pinky, Mrs. <laughs> Mrs. Clyde. Clyde. Yeah. <laughs> um, all right. There's our top five for now, then. I like that. Wait. Come on. We, we got Christmas. Casper, Casper. Bloody Mary. The Shining Twins. Slimer. All right, that's pretty good. Yeah, yeah that's a pretty solid top five. I'm yeah. not mad at Damn. it. I'm uh, not mad at it. I'm kind of scared right now. So <laughs> <laughs> Just don't look in any mirrors. <laughs> um. All right, let's go bottom half then. So we've talked about, I think Swayze makes it. Pac-Man Ghost make it. Uh, I think Bruce Willis has got to make it. Bruce Who's Willis the more iconic it? movie ghost, Bruce Willis or Patrick Swayze? Patrick Swayze. Swayze. I disagree. I, mean, I disagree I, as well. You don't know yeah. that Bruce Willis is a ghost when you watch the movie. That's what makes it crazier. That's what makes it's, it's so good. That's what no, makes it a better movie. <laughs> no, but it's one of the greatest twists of all time is that you find out he's a ghost. Yeah. Yeah. His, his when, reveal of him being a ghost is unbelievable. When I think about ghosts, I very quickly think this Bruce Willis and how mm-hmm. he was a ghost. It's just, it, I actually think he should be in the top five, but. Huh. Just he was your just number as one, Bruce. Right? Huh? He was your number one. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I definitely thought of Bruce Willis before Patrick Swayze. I was like Bruce Willis, and then I was like, oh yeah, Patrick Swayze. Mm-hmm. No, because I, I think of Bruce Willis as so many other things. I don't even know if Six Sense is in like my. Eh, it probably is in my top five Bruce Willis movies, but there's like so I don't know. It better be. Yeah, it yeah. is. It is. It is. <laughs> it is <laughs> for sure. Movie? Are you gonna put in your top five? That's not. Six cents, bro. Well, I think of the fifth element before I think Red. of the six cents, huh? Red. <laughs> fifth I mean, element. There's a whole bunch of diehards. Diehard. 
I definitely think Bruce Willis, I think, has usurped Swayze as the, the more iconic movie goes. I don't uh. I for sure. See, hey, have you hey hey ha, have you seen Sixth Sense? Yes. Yeah. Have you seen Ghost? No. No, but the movie's called Ghost. Yeah. Like <laughs> there's right, <laughs> right. But the fact that you've seen it is like it's a whole but, you know but the that's the that whole thing. The fact that we've seen it and still think Swayze's more iconic is like yeah. I yeah, I experienced the reveal, bro. I have no idea what Ghost is about, but that dude's a ghost. Yeah. And Swayze's actually dead. He might actually be a ghost. He might be haunting someone right now as we speak. I just think more it's more culturally relevant. The Sixth Sense is more relevant. It's just the Sixth Sense definitely is, but as a as a ghost in cinema, like I think people just immediately my mind when you said ghost, I went Casper, Holy Ghost, Patrick Swayze. Yeah. Really, I went I went Casper, Holy Ghost, Bruce Willis. Wow. Okay. I literally wait, 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 wait. So my if I, I have the Holy down, Ghost second, and so is Hassan, and so does Matt. Why are we, we not probably, talking about this? Pro- this is probably actually a Holy Ghost time right here. <laughs> we are. Well, I just I bumped him down because he's like, he, he doesn't, I mean, he, he's only famous because Jesus and God are famous. Like, if you didn't know them, you wouldn't care about the Holy Ghost. I, I yeah, no but Jesus the Holy and God are pretty does. famous. I mean, as their third. What does the Holy Ghost do, Morgan? I've seen the Holy Ghost. I, go, I went to black church, bro. I've seen the Holy Ghost live and live in effect. All right. All right. Don't tell me it's not real. I mean, it's not real. The Holy Ghost is what possesses you when you get the Spirit. Yep. Yeah, that's that's pretty iconic. But Jesus is who lives inside of you. Yeah, but he's just—I mean, yeah, for sure, I guess. But he needs to come out and make me dance or something because the Holy Ghost is running up the score when it comes to visibility. Well, yeah, I never knew because like the Father and the Son, I get it. Yeah. But what's what's the ghost? What's the Holy Spirit? That's that's where I'm at. I'm like, you don't. You're, you're just kind of like leeching. You're just hanging. You're a, riding their coattails. Bro, I think I didn't go to black. Church. The Holy Spirit is the way God communicates to you. It is. Yeah, kind of. Oh, you gotta mean, look at it that way. I've I've always been mad at God because He doesn't communicate with me. You see, you're not feeling the Holy Spirit. You gotta get a little more in touch with yourself. Holy Spirit's real, not really. Hmm. I mean, God does communicate to you, Matt. You just you have to listen. All right, I'll, <laughs> I'll try my best. I did years and years of that. It didn't really work, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll come over later. I'll show you. Okay. <laughs> um, Holy Ghost or Bruce Willis? Holy Ghost, probably. Holy Ghost. Yeah, we got to. I mean, at a certain point, we got to give it up for the Holy Ghost. It is It is like it is like a thing. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. It like, is a thing. Yeah. As the biggest but Christian it- here, I had him lower on my list, but that's okay. And that's why God's not talking to you. <laughs> but is it a spirit or is it a ghost? It's the same thing. It's it's referred to as the Holy Spirit and the Holy Ghost. Oh, okay. So on the list, I'll put Holy Ghost. Just to... Yeah. But it's not a person who died. It's like a thing. It's just an energy, I guess. Yeah. Can I, can I say something? I just looked up uh, reading about Patrick Swayze and Bruce Willis. Yeah. Bruce Willis... Turn down the role of ghost huh. that Patrick Swayze took. Wow, isn't that, isn't that wild? Wow. Isn't that wild? Wow. That's pretty crazy. Damn. <laughs> That's wild. If he took it, he'd probably be top three or, or even maybe top one ghosts. If yeah, he was ghost, it, the sixth sense ghost, yeah, it would just be Bruce Willis. You're the ghost. Bruce Willis. You're a ghost. For sure. Yeah. I don't think they would have. I don't think he would have been cast in the sixth sense because everyone might have. He might have been like, "Oh, this uh, ghost guy." Yeah, would have <laughs> ruined it. Oh no, he's ghost again. That's a good point. People would be like, well, if this kid can see ghosts, and this guy was already a ghost. <laughs> yeah, maybe he's still a it's ghost. Pro- and then, yeah, and then, then Patrick Swayze in the Sixth Sense. Uh, yeah. I'll say this. I I saw Sixth Sense for the first time like a month and a half ago. What? So, but, 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 okay, so be- but before you saw it, you also knew he was a ghost yeah, beforehand. Yeah, it was spoiled. Yeah. So I, that's what I mean. It's like, I think if you haven't seen either movie, you know that they're ghosts yeah. at this point. At this point, yeah, but I saw The Sixth Sense when I was a child, and I d- didn't know, and it blew Same my here. mind. Yeah. Yeah. Same here. <laughs> Same blew here. my mind apart. Yeah, he's just not very ghostly. Yeah, he is when you look back and you realize he wasn't even talking to his wife, and you're like, what the fuck, dude? Yeah, but in my yeah mind, he was, in my mind, on, the second, ghost- on the second watch, he's a super ghost. You're like, damn, this guy, this guy is a ghost. Yeah, how'd you not realize yeah, you're yeah. a ghost, you dumbass? 
<laughs> in my head, That's a ghost is someone who, who walks up behind their wife and caresses her hands as she molds a pot of clay, though. That's like, <laughs> that's how I think ghosts act. So in that sense, who do you think is... <laughs> you have a ghost fetish is the problem. <laughs> Dude, I'd fuck a ghost. Oh, we'll get to it. You don't have to use a condom. All right, we can go... Uh, we'll go Bruce Willis at seven. I think so. And then, hmm, it's weird to put them on top of each other. But I mean, it kind of—I mean, I wouldn't mind. It kind of works this year, though. I w- i was gonna say we should talk about Pac-Man Ghosts. Uh, as number eight. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Right below Bruce. Yeah. And then Patrick. Should I'm put, fine with that. Should I put spoiler? After Bruce Willis. <laughs> um, Pac-Man Ghost and then Patrick Swayze at nine. Just like that. I like that. I like that. Uh, all right. That means we have one spot left. Fuck. I have like a couple people I want to talk about. All right. Yeah, me too. Bro. Give us one. All right. All right. At number seven, I had Space Ghost. Oh, yeah. I forgot about him. He's not a ghost, though. That's just his name. Or is he a ghost? I'm not really sure. I think he's a ghost, but he's a space ghost. He's a superhero, bro. Yeah. Uh, I also had Ghostface Killer. Not a ghost. Yeah. All right. For <laughs> ghost. He kills people with Ghostface. He he's not a ghost. Yeah, he's, he, he's, he's, he's putting on Ghostface. That's racist. <laughs> what about Ghost Towards Rider? Ghosts. <laughs> I had him on my. I had him on my honorable mentions. Ghost Rider. Um, mm-hmm. We also. Um, Wait, uh, Ahmed, who'd you who'd you want to bring up? I wanted to bring up Lisa Lamb. Uh, Who's that? The, see, yeah, it's too obscure. Big in my mind though, because I the Cecil Hotel in downtown L.A. Uh, and the okay, girl, he's the girl who was found in the in the water tank on the roof. She's and um, she's a ghost now. Well, well, I think she was attacked by ghosts more so than being an actual ghost herself. Maybe that, yeah, the Cecil Hotel is, is, you know, this haunted place, and there's this amazing footage of her in the elevator the night that she disappeared, where she's, like, kind of having a very trippy experience, you could say. But it looks looks like she's... She looks possessed. She looks possessed. Yeah. I Um, stayed there for, like, three or four days when I first moved to LA. No, you did? Yeah, I didn't feel anything in that building, but I had no idea it was haunted. That's probably why you what didn't feel floor? anything. Probably. What floor was on? Uh, you on? Like seven or eight or something like that. Dude, I've always wanted to stay there. I'm too scared, though. Let's do it. Uh, I mean, it's it's pretty shitty. <laughs> yeah, there's like, like people bathrooms. Yeah, it's, it's terrible. But, How much you does know. it cost to stay there? I think back then it was like 50 bucks a night, something like that. And you oh, didn't God, that is a terrible hotel. Yeah, split between two people. Well, the top floors are the top floors are residences, so a bunch of people live there, like oh, like super cool. super low income housing status. Where is it? That makes sense. It's right on the edge of Skid Row. Like, um, mm. what is it? It's on Main and yeah, six forty South Main Street. Yeah, yeah, Main and Six. It's Damn. now called the Stay on Main. It's uh, three point one stars. No, two Oof. star. Sorry. Oof. 3.1 on the reviews. Yeah, it was a rough time. Damn, uh, dude. I'm, like, really impressed that you stayed there. I'm, I'm like, really scared to go there. I mean, I've been there. I've gone I've gone there and gone up the elevator and, like, just walked around, and I got creeped out. But you, when you stayed there, you didn't know anything about it, right? No. I didn't know anything about L.A. It was, like, literally my first three days in the city. Yeah, that's... Wow. I'm impressed. Yeah. We literally set up Xbox and just looked for apartments on Craigslist for like three days. Went to enough time to be scared. Well, I'm gonna go back. Yeah, we oh, should do a. That'd be fun to do like a ghost trip. Yeah, I heard New Orleans is a great place to do something like that. Oh yeah. Yeah. Um, you know, I uh, I had I moaning I Myrtle do that. What my DMs. <laughs> I think I should leave. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, that's a good bit. I had I had moaning Myrtle at ten. Oh yeah, I wrote her down. I wrote her and nearly headless Nick down. Mm-hmm. Who's moaning Myrtle? From Harry Potter. Oh no. 
Yeah, sorry, it's not a football player, but it is. <laughs> yeah, sorry, it's only the most football sick. players on my list. Sorry, it's only the most second popular story of all time behind the Bible. <laughs> our, our bad. <laughs> exactly. Now I know who Moaning Myrtle is, so she can't be on the list. Um, you never even watched the movies? Yeah, I saw the first three. I, I checked out. This isn't yes. like give it a shot. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's it's kind of for intellectuals and stuff. Right. Yes, the children's story is about uh, wizards. <laughs> young, young adult story. Um, <laughs> I also had I also wrote down Mufasa. Oh, when Ooh, he's in the clouds. That's, wow. that's good. Is cloud is cloud appearances? Is that ghost? Is was that, that also Musafa? Was like uh, Simba just Mustafa. like tripping? Mustafa. Yeah, Musafa. Who are we talking about? Mufasa. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> was that Who's actually him or was Simba just like seeing shit? No, that was him. All right. I mean, to me, that was a ghost. I don't think, I so. think so. I think it's like a, a appearance in the clouds. It's like an angel. Ooh, I do okay. like that. Okay. Ooh, angel. Angel, yeah. True. Mm -hmm. So we're hunting for number ten now, or are we done? No, we're hunting for ten. We won't respond. I also wrote down the uh, the Snapchat ghost. I wrote down the Snapchat ghost as well. I did not. That seems a little lame, though, to end the list on that. Yeah, I agree. Nah. I mean, originally at ten, I had Comedy Store ghost. How that about, seems fun. That's that seems like a fun honorable mention. How about um, the flying? Very Dutchman? relevant for us. Huh? The flying Dutchman. I had flying I had Dutchman at fourteen. Not a, I not had him. a person. It's a what is it? It's a ship. Yeah. It's a ghost ship. Is it full of ghosts? I don't think so. I think it's just by itself. And in, uh, and in SpongeBob, it's an actual person, too. Oh, it is? Yeah. In yeah. SpongeBob, it's a ghost. Um, even Kim wrote a, like a, there was a ghost car book or something. Ghost Rider? It was Nicolas Cage, and he had, like, the flame, the flaming skull on the motorcycle. Yeah, you're thinking of Ghost Rider. It might be oh, Ghost, Ghost, Ghost Rider. Rider? It might be Ghost Rider. No, Ghost Rider yeah. was a show on PBS. Ghost Rider, yeah, I remember that show. I remember that show. Yeah. Ghost, Ghost Rider, yeah, Ghost Rider was kind of tight. It would help them solve mysteries, right? Yep. Yep. And they all like wrote for like the school paper or some shit? Yeah, it was like Scooby-Doo, but instead of a dog, it was yeah. a ghost. They oh, spent man. way too much time in the library. I mean, the comedy store is kind of like a, a ghost building. Yeah. Remember Wishbone? Yeah, I remember Wishbone. Yeah, I remember Wishbone. That dog was cool as shit. Hell yeah. Dude, that dog could read. Yeah. yeah. That dog could dogs. travel. In yeah. Yeah. That dog could... <laughs> time, bro. He went to like ancient time. Egypt and shit. Wishbone yeah, was, that dog shit. was That dog was Doctor Strange, dude. <laughs> <laughs> that dog was fucking nuts. That dog was awesome. <laughs> Oh, how about like just Halloween ghosts, like the classic sheet over your head? Uh, that's a bit lame. I mean, out of everything we've mentioned now, to me the only one that stands out is Ghost Rider. Ghost Rider. I like right. Moni Myrtle still, and I I like King Boo. We never talked about King Boo. I got one more. Yeah. So uh, the Pfizer Hotel in Milwaukee, there's like a very notable ghost there, and a lot of NBA teams usually stay there, but a lot of them stop because a lot of players have been complaining about getting haunted. Uh, also, this is the hotel that Ron Artest claimed that he got fucked by a ghost who was in mm. that hotel. And what is that ghost's name? Ghost is, I mean, it's just the Pfizer Hotel ghost. Or the ghost that fucked Ron Artest, whichever way you want to look at it. <laughs> That's pretty good. I have never heard of it, though. Yeah, same. Like, Russell Westbrook, he refused to say there, like, a bunch of people. They all said they got haunted. Hmm. Yeah, I go, I go, here I go, um... I want to put Moaning Myrtle, but... I'd go Moaning Myrtle, too. I like Moaning Myrtle. <laughs> I can't I see want... the hate on Morgan's face. There's no hate, bro. Go ahead. We can <laughs> put Moaning Myrtle. Is there... Um... Which one is she in? Huh? Um... Which one is she in? She's in... After the second one, she's in all of them. All right. Yeah, there's so many people who know about Moaning Myrtle. For sure. I'm working. <laughs> I'm okay with Moaning Myrtle. Like, I don't even know who Moaning Myrtle is. I'm not going to be excited about it, but like, <laughs> sure, go ahead. Is she our number 10? 
I think I mean, we so. We got three yeses. That we're thinking. I guess yes, so. got four yeses. Moaning Myrtle all the way. <laughs> I stand with Moaning Myrtle. Yeah, she and like Patrick Swayze, there is the whole she wants to fuck the main character vibe going on. Mm-hmm. Wait, she's trying to fuck Harry? Mm-hmm. Oh, she's way into Harry. Yeah. <laughs> well, technically, she's like she's like seventy something, but she's a twelve year old. She's stuck as a twelve year old. Right. At one at one point, Harry's in the bath and she goes underneath the water to take a good look at him. Like it's like it's <laughs> yeah, I don't know. she's a horny ghost, dude. I'm not a moaning Myrtle. <laughs> <laughs> she's a horny ghost. Is Harry accepting these advances or is she just like no, happy with it? No, but what can you do? How, how can you push your ghost away? Yeah. No, I'm a Myrtle. <laughs> Morgan, you would love her. <laughs> yeah, she's kind of your speed, actually. Yeah, you. I think you'd get along. Yeah. <laughs> Should I go do Bloody Mary right now with you guys? Hell yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, don't, yeah. don't invite that in our life. Yeah, yeah, yeah definitely, I definitely. I will, I, will, I will get off the screen. It's supposed to be a night, worry. by the way. I have a, I have a Quran here, guys. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, that's our top ten then. All right, Horny Myrtle, number ten. Horny Myrtle. Yeah. Um, so Button. cool, top ten goes. Number one, Ghost of Christmas. Two, Casper. Three, Bloody Mary. Four, The Shining Twins. Five, Slimer. Six, The Holy Ghost. Seven, Bruce Willis. Eight, Pac-Man Ghosts. Nine, Patrick Swayze. Ten, Moaning Myrtle. That's a solid list. Yeah, that's, that's a, good list. a really good list. Um, what do we What do we have as honorable mentions? King Boo, Ghost Rider, Flying Dutchman. Is Candyman a ghost? Did we decide? Candyman's definitely a ghost. Okay, we'll put, we'll put Candyman there. there. Lisa Lamb. Lisa. We can put the. How do you spell Lamb? Should, L-A-M? It's I Elisa, I think. I think we should oh, just put those. Hotel Cecil. Yeah, Hotel yeah. Cecil Hotel. Or Cecil Hotel. Cecil Hotel. Yeah, of, the Cecil Hotel instead of Lisa Lamb. Oh, it, it's Elisa. Whoops. Yeah. Wow. Sure. Um, I think we should put. I think we should put the Comedy Store Ghosts. Just for yeah. us. Yeah. Matt's DMs. <laughs> that's funny put that in oh it's funny now there's been there's, yeah. been, 80, there's been 80 deaths in the Cecil Hotel jeez I wonder how many have been in the store two Probably yeah they not. don't they don't really know they don't, they don't really tell us yeah I don't think it's 80 I don't know I mean if it, if it was really truly the place where the mob would do their hits it could be it could be 80 easily it could yeah, yeah. I guess so we know of two what are the two? The guy who got shot and the guy that jumped off, uh, whatchamacallit, Don does. Oh, he didn't die in the store, though. He was in the parking lot. Because of the store. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he did His die energy in probably still haunts the store. His energy probably still haunts the store. He's died in the parking lot, definitely. I don't, yeah. In the Andas. No, he, di- he died in the Andas parking lot. You, you see uh, where the Andas is? Parking lot. You, yeah. know, you know how much of a fucking superhero you'd have to be to jump yeah, to the Andas? Good point. To, to, good point. To, to, good point. You spend a lot more time in that parking lot than I have. You know yeah, the right. yeah. <laughs> jumping, bro. You know, I thought he died in the. I thought, I thought he landed in the store parking lot, too. I no, just thought that. But there's just there's no way. He'd have to be an Olympic long jumper. Or, <laughs> you know what I mean? It would have to be, like, very windy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, I've I've spent many time in the lot thinking there's no way he made it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah I've spent, this, That's so I was gonna sad. Say, this is that's like the saddest thing I can imagine. Just yeah. the amount of time that you're standing there and that you just keep thinking about that. Yeah, I mean it's it's hard not to. I'll tell you that. Yeah, when you're yeah. standing there and especially when you're by yourself, it's like it's like damn, dude, that that guy, this guy really really felt this strongly about his career not going that well. Ugh. Yeah, it's like anytime I have a bad set, I like to go out and just look at the top of the Honda. <laughs> right, you you look at the comedy store and you look at the top of the Honda's and you look at the spot. It's like, oh, perfect triangle. <laughs> make sure the make sure the Booker catches you looking. Uh, <laughs> I think, and then, uh, look at, and then look at her and wink. <laughs> I think as far as uh uh, you know, um. What's the word I'm looking for? Uh, honorable mention goes. I think you can go the Amityville Horror, the Amityville House. I think that's sure. a pretty famous, yeah, at least ghost-like thing. I visited it once in New York. It's it's pretty crazy. Have you ever been it's to the one in the Winchester House or whatever? Winchester Mystery House. Yeah, that was right by where I grew up. Nice. Is it cool? Is it worth going to? Kind of. I mean, if you, I will say this: if you're there for shows, for sure, because it's interesting. 
because this woman was just so afraid of ghosts yeah. that she kind of created the best house for ghosts. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so when yeah. you do it. It's all like false doors and stuff, right? It's all like false doors and like there's a there's a mile long labyrinth that leads to a dead end, which is the perfect place to haunt somebody. Uh. Uh, there's a lot of ghost stories in there, a lot of like wild shit. Yeah, all right. I, I do want to do the. I do want to do every hall every once in a while to do a, like a midnight tour where you're only allowed to use your flashlights. Yeah, I definitely want to do that. All right, but it is a cool house. It is a cool house. Cool. Um, anything else we should include on honorable mentions? Um, anything else we talked about? I mean, the the other ghost in the Shining that rules is the girl in the bathtub. Oh yeah. We, oh, can we put can we put Shining blowjob ghost? Yeah. Yeah. Shining blowjob, Shining bathtub. Um. Uh, cool. Yeah. I think that's good then. Dope. Uh, thanks for doing it, Ahmed. Yo, this was fun. I was just kind of chilling on my couch, talking about ghosts. <laughs> yeah, you look like you're in therapy. <laughs> <laughs> I really am. I don't have therapy for a week, so I really needed this. <laughs> <laughs> We're happy to help. Thank you. Um, cool. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you next week. All right. Peace. <laughs> Bye.